guys, this is Darcy J at Nursing the Truth, and I hope everyone is having a great day today. Um, at least it's not raining here down in the south, and it's clear, sunny skies, and it's trying to warm up a bit. So, for today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that is um, very dear to my heart, and I know a lot of you guys that, um, that watch my channel, um, I hope it's dear to your heart as well. We're going to talk about slavery in the Bible, and this can be a topic that is very sensitive to others. Um, it can cause um, hatred or anger towards others, but being in the age of Aquarius, we have to now um, get over this and um, see where the root of this is coming from. And so, if we go to um, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and we go to, um, say, verse 62, it's talking about slavery and going over to a different land that is not yours. Now, what you have to realize in the King James Version, when they had written this between 1604 and was shipped out in 1611 to all over, King James was a Mason. He was a Scottish um, Rite Freemason. And also um, Roger Bacon, um, he was a master coder. So what you have to realize is this Masonic Bible has codes in it that only the Masons know about and that regular people like us just read it and believe, but they had a hidden agenda in it for the New World Order. Also, too, Albert Pike was in a Confederate general, and he was um, a 33rd degree Mason, and he was very powerful and wrote a book called Morals and Dogma. And in that book, it talks specifically about um, even World War III, how they were going to portray this in the Arab world and rise up against um, the different religions and um, make it, you know, look like the end of the world was coming. So they already knew back then about the Messiah thing in Revelation. So they made it look like Moses had written this and that it was a prophecy, but it wasn't. So let's get our handy Bibles out and let me share that verse with you. Chapter 28, verse 63. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught, and ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. So, the Arabs, when they invaded Egypt, there's something called an Arab slave trade. Do your history. And then you have the Elizabethan era, where Queen Elizabeth was even snatching Africans up and holding them as slaves. And then in the latter 1600s, you have the West African slave trade. So basically, they're telling you what they're gonna do or have done already. And it's pretty sick to me how it says and the Lord shall scatter thee 
from one end of the earth to the other. And you shall serve other gods, which neither thou nor your fathers have known, even wood and stone. Because, see, the Egyptians didn't worship wood or stone. They did have their African Egyptian deities. And this Lord said that he would utterly destroy you and will rejoice over you to destroy you. If the Creator made you, why would He want to totally destroy you and rejoice in destroying you? That is sick to me. These are your players that are in the world today. They have an agenda and they want to destroy the black race. Plain and simple. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care if you're trying to deny it. They scattered black people all over the world. The heinous crimes that these people did, raping women and children, and passing them off as a piece of property, is unhumane to me. Talking to someone like they're beneath you just because of a different skin color. That's sick to me. Yes, here in the South, we were brainwashed into not liking black people. And I can remember as a child, people around me were very prejudiced. It is a difficult topic to talk about, but I have to talk about it and I have to expose it for what it is. We have to come together. We have to unite and we have to stand up against this monstrosity that this world government wants to put in between us. So now let's go to some other verses. Okay, let's see here. Okay, well I thought I had it up here, let's see. Ephesians 6, 5 states, now this is what your Apostle Paul was supposed to have written, but see, some of these epistles are not authentic, so we really don't know who wrote them, but a lot of things have been put into the scriptures from the original verses. Slaves be obedient to those who are your earthly masters with fear and trembling in singleness of heart as to Christ. This verse is sick. And anyone, especially black people, if I was to hear this in my church, I would be so utterly disgusted that I would know that this is a bunch of shit and fraud. Are you serious? 
Do you ever hear your wonderful preachers talking about this? Slavery? Yes, I understand that there are different types of people in slavery today. I do know that there was white slaves. I do know that there was Mexican slaves. All kinds of slaves. Okay? But I can guarantee them to you the slavery they're talking about people is blacks. Because you see, when it all started in the late 1500s, the slavery kept going and going. And it was big business because you know what, guys? 85% of these Jews own slaves and plantations. And then not only to boot, they had family in the north that was ramshacking stuff too. First Timothy 6. Let all who are under the yoke of slavery regard their masters as worthy of all honor so that the name of God and the teaching may not be defamed. So you have your white plantation owners taking you from your motherland and shipping you from one end of the earth to the other and rejoicing in the utter destruction of this one species. then putting you in front of this Bible, the holy word of God, and you are brainwashing black men, women, and children for your ultimate prize. First Peter 2, 18 through 20, and this is Peter, the Lord's apostle, the one that's going to hold the keys to the kingdom. And upon this rock I shall build my church. That's the Vatican. And the Vatican symbol is the keys. Go look it up. It says, servants, be submissive to your masses with all respect, not only to the kind and gentle, but to the overbearing. For one is approved if mindful of God he endures pain while suffering unjustly. For what credit is it if when you do wrong and are beaten for it, you take it patiently? But if when you do right and suffer for it, you take it patiently and you have God's approval. This is sick mind warfare and this has got to stop and you want to know why black people are so pissed off these are their ancestors that had to go through this shit okay in America have any of us European whites ever have to be enslaved in America? 